Chemotherapy and radiation therapy are commonly used in the treatment of cancer because they prevent cancer cells from dividing. However, these treatments can also adversely affect normal cells in the body, including rapidly dividing cells lining the mouth and throat, known as the oral mucosa. Healthy oral mucosa cells are constantly being lost and replaced to maintain the integrity of the mouth lining. They act as a barrier, protecting the mouth against pathogens and the deeper tissues, including muscles and nerves, from trauma such as chewing. Oral mucositis occurs when chemotherapy and radiation damage mucosal cells, negatively impacting their ability to divide and replace cells which need to be replaced. This results in loss of cell integrity, leaving the mucosal tissue open to ulceration and infection and exposing nerves. Common symptoms include pain, inflammation, and difficulty swallowing. Symptoms can be exacerbated by existing dry mouth or damage to the salivary glands caused by radiation. Oral mucositis is a common and often exceedingly painful condition. Up to 40% of the general cancer population may experience oral mucositis during treatment. For patients undergoing bone marrow transplant or therapy for head and neck cancer, the incidence can be as high as 100%. There are four stages in the development of oral mucositis. The first is called the initiation stage. Here, radiation or chemotherapy causes direct injury to the DNA in cells in the mucosa and submucosa, resulting in epithelial cell death. The second stage is known as message generation. Here, there is activation of enzymes that cause inflammation and also destroys submucosal cells and fibroblasts. Symptoms include redness and swelling, the third stage is called signaling and amplification, where mediators from the initial injury leads to additional tissue destruction. During the fourth or final stage, known as ulceration, mouth injuries become clinically evident. Nerves become exposed, pain is often severe, and infection is common, especially oral pharyngeal candidiasis, also known as thrush. Symptoms of oral mucositis can be reduced by good oral hygiene, such as rinsing after meals, and by avoiding smoking, alcohol, and spicy foods. However, prophylactic care cannot halt the cascade of adverse events leading to oral mucositis. Relief of symptoms, including pain and the ability to swallow, can be accomplished with help from a number of treatment options. GelClair is a unique bioadherent oral rinse gel containing polyvinyl pyrrolidone, or PVP, a hydrophilic polymer with mucoadherent and film-forming properties which enhances tissue hydration. PVP helps relieve pain by creating a protective barrier over exposed nerve endings in the mouth, making them less sensitive. The other main ingredient in GelClair is hyaluronic acid, which coats the oral mucosa and enhances tissue hydration via its action as a molecular sponge. GelClair is administered three times a day or as needed. Important safety information. Do not use GelClair if there is known or suspected hypersensitivity to any of its ingredients. If swallowed accidentally, no adverse effects are anticipated. If no improvement is seen within seven days, consult a physician. For additional information and full prescribing information, please visit www.gelclair.com. Once cancer treatment ends, normal cells begin dividing again and the oral mucosa eventually heals.